Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can use budget resource fields. So I'm going to create a resource, I'm going to allocate it as a budget resource. So first of all, let's go to the resource sheet and add some resources. So I'll just add a couple of people first, so I'll just do Bob and Anne. And then I want to do a cost resource and the cost resource is going to be a budget resource so i'll just call it um, project let's do a space there actually it's project allocation so this is going to be the budget field so it's a cost field now i need to double click into that and tick this this option where it says budget tick okay and i'll just give some figures for these two guys ten pound each just so we've got some money now when you let me indent this these tasks when you indent tasks you've got what was called a summary task or you might believe it to be a summary task it's not actually a summary task now i'm going to allocate some resources so i'll go assign resources so and can do core teams and can both do that and that so they're over allocated now and just and can do that so to avoid that I'll do some quick links to get them sort them out like so and scroll to task because I can't see anything there we go now what I want to do is allocate the budget resource now if I go back to resources and assign resources and click on project allocation which is that cost budget cost resource everything's grayed out if I click on the summary task everything is still grayed out now I can assign these two guys because these are just work resources but I can't assign assign project allocation what you have to do is create a summary task through the Gantt chart formatting area like so and it's over here this summary task so it's not a summary task that's created when you indent tasks you have to physically click on that and it is also if you go back to the tasks not this option so I'll just undo that you can actually use that option but let's just get rid of that um, go back to Gantt chart and select it from there because what it now does it just repeats the name whereas the other one just put a blank summary task in there you can just change that if you want get a capital letter and that one now if I go back to resource and assign resources click on that it is now active I can assign it so project allocation is assigned to the summary task for the whole project but close that down now how do you allocate a budget to that you can't do it here and if I go and change view tables cost and allocate the budget field budget cost field I can't add it there either so where do you add the actual figure that you want to be the overarching budget cost for this project well you have to do it in task usage so task usage you can see there you've got the, the resource project allocation and it's got NA and A but if I add the budget cost field there you can see now underneath if I just move this across a bit it's active so if I type 5,000 in there for example that now populates that so it's a bit of a strange way to do it so you basically need to create the resource and set it as a budget then you need to create a summary task and then to allocate the actual money you need to go back to task usage and insert the budget cost field and then you can populate the actual budget cost so you could have more than one and it would just 
summarize it as it does with other things. Now if I do another one, if I go back to the resource sheet and do a work allocation, so you might want to do it like this, work allocation, so this is going to be a work field, it's a default, but again it's going to be a budget, spelled that wrong, but let's fix it there, tick budget, okay, same thing is going to happen, you go back to your Gantt chart, you assign work allocation to that, and then to use it, you go to task usage and there's the work allocation field but you haven't got the actual column in there so you type budget again budget work and then you've got the hours there so whatever hours you're allocating for this project you can put in there so that's how you use those budget fields in Microsoft Project in a simplistic example now the key to it all remember is this summary task because if you've just got this task, you can't assign anything to it. It's all greyed out. They're both be, they'll both be greyed out. So it's, but it's this top task, this summary task, where you allocate the resource to. And I've not allocated or inserted the column there, budget work column. So you can do that as well. And it gives you the hundred hours at the top. So that's what you you're looking at. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.